Hi, my name is Dr Victoria Manning. Um, I'm from River Aesthetics and we have three clinics, one based in Sandbanks on the lovely south coast, one in Lymington in the New Forest and our third in, Ca um, in London. And I'm Dr Charlotte Woodward from River Aesthetics. Um, I'm Victoria's um, business partner and we both work in the same clinics. I think that's a really, really good question. Um, <clears throat> I think it's really, really important for et not such brides, but also any patient would do their research before they find a practitioner and making sure that those practitioners are medically qualified. I think a really good th um, industry that's now come out in the past two, three years is some of the regulatory bodies that are now um, government regulatory bodies, such as Safe Face treatments you can trust um, and safety and beauty which actually do their own due diligence on practices and their clinics and actually check you know, what your credentials are, your qualifications, whether your clinic is up to scratch, it, it comes up to muster and I think that's really really important but I think patients themselves also need to do their own research, go onto their website, look at read patient testimonials and also go on other sites such as Real Self which is completely unbiased to actually see what other people you know, are basically saying about those practitioners. And I think it's paramount that if, if you're a little bit unsure, make sure you go for a proper thorough consultation. And if you don't feel 100% with the person that you're seeing, don't go ahead with it. You know, there is, there's no shame in that. It's really, really important. It's important for us as well, getting to know the patient is, 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 is their must. So I think that's really, really important. I think for us, um, introducing thread lifting into our clinic has revolutionised our, our practice. It's like having an extra tool in your toolkit. Up until um, before we had threads, you can only volumise the face to, uh, to rejuvenate it to a certain point. Because basically what's happened is we're ageing, all, unfortunately all our tissues are going south. So everything is kind of at the lower point of the face and we have a lovely triangle of youth when we're young. Unfortunately that goes rectangular when we get a little bit older. And if you're constantly putting fillers in that area, we felt that it wasn't doing the patient justice and we just wanted something else basically to kind of lift. So what a thread is basically doing, it's repositioning the deeper tissues and obviously the skin follows. So you're putting a, um, a thread, there's lots of different types of threads in the deeper tissues of, of the face and then just gently um, lifting those tissues. And it has a kind of a dual effect. So you get the initial mechanical lift and it's a bit like the gift that keeps on giving because then you get the secondary collagen stimulation which then acts as a kind of a scaffolding for once the thread dissolves, you have this scaffolding left in place which then basically continues the lift. So um, for us, it, combining that with dermal fillers to volumise, I think has completely changed I mean, our practice. And a lot of patients that wouldn't, didn't want previous treatments are very happy with having a thread lift because it's, they feel it's more natural. Lots of people. <laughs> um, we, we can treat people from 20s to 80s, but I, the, most, the majority of people we do thread lifts on are in their 40s, 50s and 60s. Um, it needs to be somebody who's got some good tissue, not too lax and not too heavy. If the tissues are too heavy or too lax, we can't lift it. Um, we, we can get about centimetres lift on most faces, but um, you've got to be realistic. If you can pinch handfuls of skin, then that's surgery. It's not, not something that we, we can do with threads. And you can get slightly more lift in the neck. You can probably get about a two centimetre in the neck you know, with really nice results. We use the, the PDO cogs in the breast. We put them into the breast tissues and we fan them around to lift the tissue. Again, it depends on how much heavy, how heavy the breasts are and, and the amount of laxity. Um, so that, but we can normally get about two centimetre lift in a breast, a very natural result. It's not volumising, it is just lifting. So if somebody wants more volume, then again, that's surgery, it's not, not a thread lift. But um, we can get some very nice natural results um, with threads. And how it works is you put the threads in, um, you have ligaments of Cooper in the breast, and it narrows the distance between the ligaments so that the breast tissue is just gently lifted up.